Hey guys, the third week of the Forsaken Shores has started today and brought us the brand new merchant voyage, the cargo runs. In this video we will show you how it works. First of all they've added new commendations next to the other Forsaken Shores commendations to accomplish. There are six new ones this week. You can start a cargo run at any merchant on any outpost. We tested this in the normal world and in Devil's Roar. When you started a voyage you either have to collect your cargo on the same outpost or on a different island. You have to check your voyage from which person you need to collect the cargo. It's not always the same person as who you've bought a voyage from. It can be the merchant himself but it can be the weaponsmith or anybody else on the island as well. So make sure to check who you need to go to. After you've collected them, you can read a note on the cargo where you need to deliver the cargo. All the cargo from the same voyage always needs to be brought to the same person on the note. There are three kinds of cargo. There are crates of luxurious cloths, plants and rum bottles. Each cargo has its own way to be taken care of. The crates of luxurious cloths may not get wet. You need to watch out to get them on and off the ship because if you jump into the water they will be worth less and you won't get the full payment. The same goes for plants, but instead to keep them dry you need to water them. A tip to do this easily is to put the crate on the lower deck and pour a bucket of water into your ship so you can give them water while you are sailing. Don't forget to put a crate of cloths on a higher deck, otherwise those will get wet. For the bottles of rum you need to watch your step. Don't jump or fall with them. And don't crash your ship. Any damage to the ship will damage your rum bottles. Even the smallest crash can break them. If you bring in your cargo intact, you can earn 350 gold for each crate. For Devil's War, this will be 700 gold. If you want to do this in Devil's Roar, the merchant is from now on available in Morrow's Peak Outpost. Everything works the same as in the normal world, only the cargo looks a bit different. Instead of green rum bottles, you'll have red rum bottles, and they're called Devil's Rum. It will be more difficult to accomplish in Devil's Roar because of the volcanoes. The rum bottles will be harder to keep intact. Earthquakes don't affect your cargo, only the big magma rocks and geysers do. So this was our guide for the cargo run. If you want to do the commendations, just do them in the normal world. It's not really worth it to do them in Devil's Roar. It's much more difficult with the volcanoes. Anyway, we also have a Discord channel. If you need help or want to meet new people, feel free to join. The link is in the description below the video. If you liked the video and want to see more videos, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time!